going to deep clean this side of the dining area today. I do it in sections because it's a large space. If you're new, thank you so much for clicking on my link and checking me out. It's part of my deep cleaning decluttering series. Don't forget to look for that subscribe button and smash on it. We're going to get started momentarily. I want to go through the rack right there. Take everything off of it. Move it out of the corner. The mulch stays in here. Take care of the gerbil. I'll temporarily move her to another location during the video so we don't disturb her. And we're going to also take a look into my buffet that you see part of on the right. And see what's in there so we can declutter. And I like to declutter and remove 5 to 10 items. And I do things in zones. Even if you're just putting it away for next season, that is considered removing the item from the area. Hey everyone, we're going to declutter this side of the dining area. We've done the mantle in here, we've done the cube and the pantry shelves, removed the cupboard and put it into the kitchen, and now we're going to take care of this side with the rack as well as the buffet today. Get a brief inside of what it looks like in the buffet during my deep cleaning videos. Last time we did this was before Mother's Day. So we're going to take care of this side. I do it a couple times a year. I do a big spring cleaning and I do a big fall cleaning and I do my fall cleaning in August to free up my time in the fall for decorating and festivities because we're back to school by then and we're very busy. We're going to be removing five to ten items and doing them in zones in the rack zone one. Finding all kinds of things that I didn't even know were on this rack. It's, everything seems to become a catch-all in my home. If they can put it there, they'll shove it there. So I'm going to try to remove that process of thinking and get things put away. If it can't get put away, it gets tossed out. And I use underneath items to hide and store things as well. Now we're going to take things off the buffet. I'm not sure if I'm going to try to have that lens fixed again or just get rid of it or keep it for an accent piece. Other broken lenses that can't be fixed I have for decoration pieces because I do professional photography. I'm going to wipe down the buffet and then we're going to move it away from the wall. It's bulky and big but not that heavy and I can do it by myself with ease. I'm just going to slide it over quietly. It's later in the morning closer to lunchtime, so we're taking care of business while everybody's up or away for the day downstairs so I don't make a lot of noise on the top floor and we sound like elephants stomping. I can't stand that. I always try to live on the top because it's the best. Now we're going to sweep. I'm going to turn around so I'm not facing you with my back and get all this mulch and dust up as well as the baseboards. And I'll mop the baseboards too. I do the baseboards every time I declutter back here two to three times a year. Now we're going to continue sweeping. I just changed the camera angle and make sure I do a really good job because I won't be back here till probably springtime unless I get an urge to do it again. Now we're going to use the bang. It's a really big bottle. 32 full ounces. It's the purple bottle with LA. Totally awesome from Dollar Tree. We love the Dollar Tree. We use quite a bit of their products within my home. Changing the camera angle again. I'll turn around so my back isn't to you. I'm going to do the baseboards and I'll move the printer table out further so I can do behind that one. They get dusty and they should be done so they're not a fire hazard. They suggest every time you sweep but I just don't have time to do baseboards every time I sweep. Put the buffet back. Now we're going to put the rack back and we're going to start organizing the rack and hanging things up. I do one area of the rack for my teenager, one for my tween and an area for myself on the rack. I'm going to get some shoes put back as well and my big bin of extra cleaners that I keep on there. I stow away wherever I can because we have limited storage in this house. You wouldn't think so in a big flat like this but there isn't a lot of storage areas. Gathering a couple things to hang up on a, a hanger. I like to hang multiple things on a hanger like bags and backpacks that way we're saving hangers and saving space. I'm going to hang up my raincoat because I use this all spring and fall. I keep it out even in the winter because if it's a warm winter day I will wear it. My kid will use this fleece in the fall as well as the early spring months. You wash it in between seasons so it's ready for the next time. I use those 
shower curtain rings, hang up hats, and extra backpacks when you're limited on hangers. They're from the Dollar Tree. You get six to a pack. Shower curtain rings, lots of uses for them. My sweater, I love that duster. I wear it all the time in the fall. When I run down to the bus stop in the morning, I throw it on with my shoes. Our hangers also come from the Dollar Tree, the white, black, plastic ones, as well as the velvet ones. I'm going to sweep in front of the buffet now. And then we'll pull the table out further later in the video, as well as the table and my husband's amplifier. He plays guitar. He used to be a lead guitar player in a band and vocals. Now I'm going to mop. Got the bang. Really needed this side of the room done. It gets messy from the, the gerbil and daily traffic walking back and forth through here, having dinner on the table. And it's always nice to do a good deep clean. Now we're going to sort through this bin and empty them out because I don't need it in my TV room anymore. I'm going to get all the prongs for the outlets as well as the extra cords. And they're going to go in my basket of cords in case I need them for Christmas lighting and decoration in a few months. Found the goggles that we were talking to our friend earlier this morning. I thought they were left at the pool, but they were in the beach bag. We'll probably use that a few more times so it will stay there. But my bucket bag, I put the bins in. We're going to put that on the back port, our storage area. Even if you remove something from the room and not necessarily purge, toss, or donate, putting it away is considered removing it from the zone. We did 25 items total in this video removing items so i'm pretty thrilled about that you declutter it becomes a habit if you do it on a regular basis there's a little bit of dust on the back of this printer table so i grabbed a wipe and cleaned up the dust and we're going to put it back and center it underneath the window i'm going to finish dusting it because it hadn't been dusted in a while the printer sits there and we print a lot of documents and paperwork on that printer we've had it for quite a long time so I just drop the wipe to the floor and I'll sweep it up onto my dustpan and it'll go into the garbage. Doing a thorough sweep in here today. Feels pretty good to get this room deep cleaned once again. You should deep clean your rooms often, two to three times a year, as long as you have the time. I have mobility problems, so I'm always moving because it hurts more to sit still than it does to constantly do things. I have the mop, that's my swiffer from the Dollar Tree for new, as well as the bang. We absolutely love it. On to the buffet. I'm going to go through to see what's in here. We use these placemats. That's my mom's prom picture. She passed away 31 years ago. Found some doilies, and I have an idea to use them. A nice Dollar Tree hack to keep your Dollar Tree plates safe. These plates came from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to use the doilies to separate them so they don't chip when you open up the drawer. And keeping the Christmas placemats down at the bottom because we use them not as often, just once a year. The blue placemats we use several times throughout the year. The paisley plates, Mother's Day, Father's Day, and other special days. Now we're going to get a wipe and disappear for a second. And we're going to wipe out the drawer because I noticed some dust in there and some things stuck way in the back. I couldn't find those scatters for my kid's birthday, but we'll save them for next year. And I get the blue pl plates put back with doilies as well. And put everything back into the drawer orderly and declutter what I can. What's on top is going to be decluttered except for a couple things that the gerbil needs. And to the bottom part of the buffet, I'm going to take everything out. My Christmas plates and our chargers. I'm going to see what's stuck away in the back of the buffet. And disappear for a second more stuff. Uh, grab a couple of the bins. I use bins inside the buffet as well. These heart doilies, I don't use them, so I'm going to use them to separate my plates. That way they get used and I don't feel like I wasted any money on them. I did have them up for decoration during Valentine's Day, but they seem more useful as a separator between the plates. Putting the Christmas ones back. I grabbed a napkin for the last one because I ran out. I'm going to move the glasses and the vase to the top shelf. Because they stand up better. A couple of Dollar Tree things that I shoved in there quickly that I removed. That will go into the prize vault. It's a picture frame and a pot holder. Going to sort through all the construction paper. Because my kids do like to do art. 
even though they're older they still enjoy drawing and coloring and make sure only the printer paper is in the blue bin put the sketch pad there with it I'm going to put the Valentine's Day stuff to the back so I may use it if I don't I'll purge it after Valentine's Day keep it for now I grabbed a new bag to put the markers away because it wouldn't close and that way they don't spill out over the floor every time you open the buffet and we use zip blocks to store a lot of things it's a great organization now we're going to move the table and be careful I don't want to disturb anybody if they are home and then we're going to do a sweep and a mop and you'll see a final view I'm going to put things onto the buffet some fall items that I picked up and the napkin holder from Dollar Tree completes the look it's a nice piece and I like to use them for more than just napkin holders you can make shelves out of them and house all your electronics which we've done in the past I'm going to do a final sweep over on this side in front of the printer table and then we will do a nice mop now we're going to do a mop in here in front of the printer area so the whole area is mopped and swept feels really good to get this room deep cleaned and ready for the fall and we're done did all the floors behind all the furniture behind the black printer table which used to be yellow by the way I painted it with chalk paint the tables cleaned up top to bottom and underneath it the little buffet is all cleaned up behind it inside of it as well and organized the clothes rack is decluttered and put some things away and we cleaned underneath it the dribble will go back later on the bolt stays there and peek inside the drawer quickly and then inside the cabinet briefly and then we'll talk about some prizes that we give away we're done when we get to 1,800, we're going to issue out two $10 Dollar Tree gift cards. We're looking for 10 people to give out one five items price pack from the Dollar Tree, valued at $6.25. If you're new, you must comment, become part of our growing community. All the information for the giveaways are down below. You must be United States residents and uh, subscribed. The t-shirts are currently off for now. We're looking at a new provider name given by a YouTube friend. And we'll let you know if we can make an arrangement with them. If you are still interested, just email me, countryboots1268 at yahoo.com. Or go to my Facebook page and like it and send a message that way. Thank you everybody for your ongoing support. Don't forget to subscribe.